A nonprofit is calling on the Diocese of Springfield to release what they're calling secret files and archives regarding the 49 year old case of Daniel Croto. 22 News reporter Nick Oresco is live in Springfield with new developments on this decades old investigation, which came to a close yesterday. The nearly 50 year old murder case of Danny Croto came to a close Monday because the only suspect in this case is now dead. Now, not even 24 hours after the case closed, an organization is demanding the Springfield Diocese to come forward with more information. Standing outside the main offices of the Springfield Diocese, Dr. Robert Hotson, president and co-founder of Road to Recovery, a nonprofit that assists victims of sexual abuse, demanded answers into the 1974 murder case of Danny Croto. So Bishop Byrne, what do you know about all that has gone on here for the last 49 years? We would like to see all that information. The organization based in New Jersey is calling on the Diocese of Springfield to release all the information it has on Richard Levine, who was suspected of killing Danny Croto nearly a half century ago. It was announced Monday that the murder case is closed because Levine died last week in Greenfield. The nonprofit claims that for nearly 50 years, the Diocese of Springfield has covered up information it has in secret files about Richard Levine and many other clergy. Now they are calling on Bishop Byrne to release that information. Do what District Attorney Galuni did yesterday and tell us the truth, the whole truth and nothing but the truth. The Springfield Diocese has responded to Dr. Hotson and his attempt to get more information on Levine. It said in part, the diocese handed all information requested and witnesses to the grand jury. That included 10,000 pages of documents and testimony. Levine served as assistant pastor at the time of Croto's death and was the last person to see the 13-year-old boy alive before his body was found in the Chicopee River. Investigators were preparing to seek an arrest warrant the day he died. The diocese also said that they have cooperated with that investigation and all requests or subpoenas and will continue to do so. We're live in Springfield this evening, Nick Oresco, 22 News.